Hello again, Chris, M0RSF. What I want to show you today is this new Easy DJ interface by Kilo Foxtrot 5 India November Zulu. Okay, just a couple of 600 ohm transformers in here and a few other bits and bobs. One for receive, one for transmit. Okay, on this side into the radio mic socket you have a cable. This one's fitted with an RJ45 connector that goes into the 817's microphone socket for TX. Okay, keys the radio via Vox. And on the top there, radio speaker jack. In goes this 3.5mm jack plug. And the other end of that goes into your headphone socket. Okay, so two, two cables coming out of the right hand side as you look at this. One for TX and the jack plug. This end, other end of that, goes into the headphone socket on the side of the 817. On the left hand side of the interface, it says devi device. You might notice it says I device. Okay, and the plug on this side. Now, what that does, that goes into uh, my iPad. Also works my iPhone as well. Okay, so you can use uh, PSK31. You can use SSTV. I think there's a Ritty app for the uh, for the i devices now, iPads, iPhones, etc. Also, I believe this works with Android devices too. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to connect this up, and uh, I'm going to show you how it works. So there's the FT817. Just going to remove the microphone. Okay, so we don't need that. Uh, let's have a see. So the jack plug into the headphone socket for receive. The RJ45 connector goes into where your microphone would go for transmit. Okay, the other end of this now is going to go into my iPad. Okay, so iPad, that in the cable, into the iPad. So I've got my iPad, I've got a folder there called M Radio. A few little apps in there, SSTV, this is the one we're interested in trying. I'll try PSK31. Okay, so that's a software running. I'm not sure my camera will pick up on this thing, it's probably a little bit dark. So let's see if we can find a, a nice trace for you to decode. Okay, there you go. You can probably see it. It's a Whiskey 3 India Echo Alpha. Calling secure. You can see the waterfall there. You can see it decoding the text on the screen. Just above waterfall. Okay, okay. So that's the iPad connected to the A17. There it goes. Calling CQ again. See if he's lucky. Quite useful these interfaces I imagine. I have a little carry case, a little uh, like a camera case that I take with me. When, uh, when I go portable with the 817 and this just goes in a little uh, small little uh, little tub and it'll probably go with me because I always take my iPhone with me when I'm out and about so if ever, if ever I'm, uh, I'm uh, portable anywhere and I fancy having a little go at uh, PSK31 then, uh, then I can So I've got my 817 on 10 meter band here. Okay, all you gotta do is switch on the Vox. It's, there she goes, Vox that button there. That'll allow me to transmit. Right, now to set your levels, the conventional interface obviously goes in the back of the 817. Okay, so this is uh, USB, it's using the mic socket. So the mic gain there that I use when I'm on single sideband 85 that's how you would set your transmit level to make sure you've no ALC right I've tried this into a dummy load earlier that's how low I've got to have the mic gain 
right down to make sure that I'm putting some power out but no ALC, nice clean signal. Right, this 5 Bravo stroke Sierra Quebec 2 mic, golf mic, call this EQ, that's a 10 meter band. You can probably see those traces a little bit better now. Right, so I can click on one of these, what was that one? Um, hopefully the camera's picking this up. Papa Yankee 2 Sierra Papa Tango, that's Brazil, that on 10 meters. The antenna I'm using is a buddy pole antenna and it's only in the loft. I only run QRP, it's just in loft. There's another trace there, let's see what this chap is. So as you can see that's decoding, absolutely fantastic. Quite, uh, quite a few traces there, 10 meter band, band's in pretty good shape. So that's not too, too bad, work well these little interfaces, quite impressed. Slight trace there but he's not TXing now. So what I'll do, I'll put a call out and see if I can make a cue, so I'll show you this uh, transmitting as well. Okay, so let's just stick a call out and see uh, see what happens here. Hopefully that's uh, that's picking up that text there. I'm calling CQ. Calling CQ, looking, uh, looking okay there. Hopefully somebody will come back. Try the macro again. So all I'm doing there is you get your little macros at top of your screen there. CQ, CQ DX if you like, CQ test, name everything else. You set them up. Okay. Just edit them to how you want them. Let's have a little go. Right. Now then. I'm sure I saw Colin come back to me there. So let's uh, let's uh, let's see if we can work Colin. Collins coming back, M0 Aris FQRP. Right, that were a little bit short, wasn't it? Really, it wasn't ideal. So let's uh, let's try again. So I want to give him me uh, my name uh, and his signal report. Let's just stick his going. So there we go, Colin's coming back. Should have set these macros up a little bit better to be fair. I did it on my, uh, on my iPhone, I've set the macros up but I've not set them up on this. Apologies if you, me, uh, if you can hear me having a drink of tea there. So fingers crossed. Oh, back to you Chris. I think we uh, I think we transmitted over each other there. So let's uh, let's give Colin his report. Um oh, stop. Right, so we're telling him what we're running there. Telling him my equipment. Yeah, so FT817 ND antenna. 
That's his miracle whip there. We're not on the miracle whip. Apologies for that. I was going to make a video downstairs sat at the kitchen table, but the battery isn't charged on the 817, so I've had to, I'm using a power supply at the moment. So uh, miracle whip software, PSK runner running on iOS. So apologies, that's not a miracle whip there. And, uh, coming back to me ears. So you have to be careful here because this thing transmits as soon as you, uh, as soon as you touch these macros by the looks of it. It's the first time I've used this, we'll get into it. Quite impressed. Colin's just uh, telling me he's FT100, QRP, 10 watts. Interface, M0ACQ. Just hide my keyboard so you can see his trace. There's Colin's trace. Ham radio deluxe and DM780. Version 5.24038. Release. His antenna. G5RV, half size, half wave. Good antennas, those. The CDO 99 vertical for 12. So I'm going to finish with Colin, and I think I'll give him a call on the 2 meter band. Just let him know what's going on here, it's only fair. But, uh, well, he's transmitting away there, look. 817 iPad. How cool is that? How cool is that? So back to me. A little bit of a messy queue, so but we've made it. Okay, okay. Thank you for the queue, so good luck, good DX, and hope to see you again. 73 stop go. I'm glad it's come back to me so you can see this thing transmitting. That's fine, absolutely fine. Thanks for that, Colin. So that's a Kilo Fox 5, it's in the November Zulu interface. Comes wired for whatever radio you've, uh, you've, you request when you order one, to be fair. Fantastic. Regarding logging, you would have to use a pen and paper. There's no logbook on this. Um, but it's not a problem, is it, if you're out and about? I've always got a phone on me. And that's it, finish with Colin. So thanks for watching. I'll make another video doing some SSTV using this interface, the iPad and the 817. So thanks for watching. M0RSF.